Ryan Ambler with some space gets picked up on by the pole. Here's Sims. He goes top shelf and scores. There's though with the ball. Sims a catch and shoot. And he scores his second of the game. Here's a shot by Sims, and he goes up high and scores. Big day for Austin Sims, one of the bright spots. That gives him his first career hat trick. And a tremendous goal by Hump. With a stick up as high as she could, and it's slamming it home. Her fourth goal of the game. Buck throws it to the blue line. Here's Colzer firing that one deflected wide. And that's it. Preston scores! Tiger score at the 29 second mark of the first period. Jamie McDonnell knocked in the rebound off the wall, and Princeton leads one to nothing. Brasky going way wide, and it'll benefit her. She is going to win the heat and establish the best time, and it's a real blanket finish for second and third. Remember, it's the top three automatically into the final. And the facilities record was just 2.06.32, so that, of course, is going to go bye-bye with many under that. Very first heat, Borowski winning the heat in 204.44. Tupper. And the Tigers with the winning run halfway around send up Billy Aaron. That one sent out the left field. Brown chasing it over his head to the wall. Horstead's going to come around third and he is going to score the winning run. Princeton wins it two to one. A last at bat victory for the Tigers. And they start off their Ivy League campaign with a big win on the double by Billy Aaron. Pitch. Sent in the air to center field. This one should win the game, and it will. RBI single by Joe Flynn. Danny Hoy scores, and Princeton comes back with three in the 10th inning to win it nine to eight. Full count, one out, bases loaded. Princeton leading Harvard 2-0. Christian Wines and the pitch. Swing and a flare toward right. It's caught by the second baseman. Throw to first. Not in time for the double play. Oh my, the first base umpire fell as he was turning to make that play at first to make sure he had the right angle. The throw appeared to be in time. What a grab by Haley Hindman. I would be surprised if Princeton asks the first base umpire to consult with his teammates, with the other umpires, and, and the umpires will come together. That throw and play by Heinemann was one of a kind. A leaping grab by the Princeton second baseman, and then a throw to first, and the first base umpire who lost his footing during that play. They have ruled her out. It's a double play. That ends the ball game. Princeton wins two to nothing. Haley Heinemann with a terrific defensive play.